you know that tomorrow I'm hustling like there's only one more second left of this hustle. Hustle, hustle, hustle. Don't bother me, I'm working. 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 Here we are with the finale of this lay series. If you haven't already, please click the subscribe button. Once you've put the makeup on the client's lace and on the client's cap, you're going to proceed with lining it up with their hairline or where their hairline should be. Since she has a low hairline, this is a very different technique. Usually when you have to put the frontal on the client, you're going to put it a little bit above their hairline. Since her edges come down very, very low, you're going to put it almost directly on her hairline. Your client should be helping you at all times when it comes down to holding the sides of their lace. If your client isn't helping you hold down the lace, your install is not going to come out right. Once you have your frontal exactly where you need it to be, you're going to proceed with sewing the frontal down. The glue that I live by and that I love is Bold Hold. This has always given me the best results. It gives a two to four week hold. It's waterproof and it's sweat resistant. As long as it's applied correctly, you will get the best results. Always prep your client's skin with 91% alcohol. If you skip this step, your lace is not going to last. Your client's lace is not going to last. Once the glue has turned clear, you will proceed with the next layer. I use three layers of this glue. Once it's turned clear, you are not going to hesitate when it comes down to laying the next layer. If you wait too long in between, your lace is not going to stick. This glue is very safe. There are some glues out there that will damage your hair. The way you will be able to tell if the glue is not safe, if you put your nose to it and it has very strong fumes, please do not use that on your edges. It will eat your hair up. As long as this glue is applied correctly, removed correctly, your edges will be safe. After the third layer, please proceed to lay the glue into the lace or lay the lace into the glue. Either way, proceed with that next step. Like I said, do not wait too long in between for when the glue dries to lay the lace or else it will not stick. When it comes down to this step as well, your client must help you hold the lace down. Get your blow dryer and put it on a warm setting and allow the glue to melt into the lace. Most of the time, frontals are too big, so you always have to cut excess pieces off around your ear. This is going to give you the most natural and best results. Part the hair out around your ear, exactly around your ear, and you're just gonna cut that piece off. Once it's cut off, you're going to just lay the lace back into the glue.
get your comb and just comb the lace into the glue. I know this sounds kind of repetitive, but you really, really want the most natural and best and flat and melted results. Now that your lace is down, you're going to get the eyebrow cutter or the scissors, whichever one is most convenient for you and easiest to do, you're going to use that method. I always tell you guys to do what works best for you. Whatever gives you the best results and whichever is easier and safer for you to use, use it. By now, I hope you've already subscribed. I hope you've already clicked the subscribe button. And I hope you are about to refer all of your friends and your family to this channel. Sometimes there isn't any glue where the lace should be, and that's fine. You can always go back and fix it. So if there's some glue missing, you're just going to lift the lace up a little, slide the glue in there, same thing. Spread it out, and once it turns clear, you're safe to lay the lace. Take some of those pieces of the hair out like you've seen me do and you're going to get the eyebrow eraser or your scissors like I said whatever is best for you use that method and you're just going to cut the baby hairs and then you're going to lay them down. I always try to show you guys different techniques but my favorite technique at this moment is using the mousse the foam wrap or whatever you want to call it. You guys keep asking me what's the brand but what I'm going to say is, as long as it's alcohol free, you're safe. Some people say they put the foam wrap and their lace starts to lift up, but as long as it's alcohol free, you'll be safe. Why should it be alcohol free? Duh, because alcohol is going to lift the glue. Another thing, I'm really not that rough when it comes down to this part. I try not to be rough at all. However, when it comes down to the baby hairs, you don't want to be rough when you're using this liquid because like I said, if you're too rough, and then on top of that, if your mousse has alcohol in it, your lace is going to lift up. Please pay attention to those things when you're out shopping for hair supplies and hair products.
When I'm doing my client's install, my conversation always goes like this. Do you want a side part or a middle part? Do you want baby hairs or no baby hairs? When they say I want baby hairs, I go all in. Time to proceed to the next step, which is laying those baby hairs completely. After you've done that, you're gonna keep your baby hairs wrapped up for the entire install and continue to sew the hair in. This is the sewing method that I use. If you've watched how I make a frontal wig, this is the same sewing technique. Please go by and stop by that video so you can learn how to get a very secure and long lasting install. Hopefully soon I can do a frontal replacement on my channel for you guys because this technique that I use when it comes down to sewing the hair in and when it comes down to making a frontal wig you can absolutely replace your lace once it starts to get old or missing hair patches or whatever the case may be, it can always be replaced if you use this method. Now it's time for the great reveal. And voila, there we have it, it's completely melted. You always want to wrap your baby hairs down you always want to wrap your lace down in general if you want that completely melted look. Once your baby hairs are set and dried, you're going to just comb them out so they can look and feel softer. You don't want your baby hairs to be completely stuck to your head like they were forced there and glued down like paste. Comb them out and that's going to give you the best results. I hope you've enjoyed this install. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I hope you enjoy my channel in general. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Until next time, bye-bye.